It's your boy TP. I'd like to welcome you all to Tony Price Legacy documentary. Got a lot of things coming up for y'all. Sit down, check it out. Welcome everyone. Thank you for joining me, um, Tony Price Legacy, my documentary. Um, I wanted to do something special for the fans of the past 30 years of my music career and show them some behind the scenes footage as well as a couple interviews and some music um, unreleased videos. So this is for you. I'm going to break this down into five parts and I want to highlight some of the people that influenced me. Um, it's your boy Tony Price. Um, look out for Champion. Um, it's coming real soon, but for right now, check out Tremors. And um, go to my website, TonyPriceLegacy.com. Check us out on Facebook, Twitter, my YouTube account, Interprentice Records 2013. Yeah. So back in 1990, when I first picked up the pen, um, I started out with my cousin Borders. To a sit down between me and Borders, give you guys some history and background of both of our careers and how Tony Price got started. That's what it originally started off as. It wasn't even, you know what I'm saying? And then we became chosen few. And then that, that was later on in the years, though. Like, mm -hmm. We started off as the monsters. You know what yeah. I'm saying? That's how the game came in. You know what I mean? I remember them days like yesterday. Like, man, we down there trying to just. Make it be like you was the one, you was the creative one because I really didn't know. I just knew how to write a rap. Like I really didn't I learned know. from B. That, that, like I said, I, I and I, like I told B, I just wanted to rap. Like him teaching me how to make beats and what a beat machine was. That that's all him. I didn't know anything about. It. I had no interest. It was just basically him. So that's why I said. I and said that's crazy because that. B definitely like even he built like one of the first homemade studios yeah. that I ever seen. I go to crazy. We got the keyboard. He got the beat machine. I'm like, right? Oh, we doing this thing, y'all. Yeah, I'm like, he, right, he got the mic it. sitting up here. Only thing he didn't have was a booth and the the, the soundproof walls. We had pads, but if you even 2020, look at Captain Al. Yeah, they, they, they got the setup he had early 90s. They so. wrapping the hollow walls, and it's like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Taking it maybe somewhere else to get a mix and match, or it's still going to be And it. that's the thing. That's what I learned. It don't matter how, where you record. If a person knows how to mix, that's all that matters. Yeah. It don't matter what mic you Man, use. Man, there's dudes making hits on iPhones. Dude, yeah, they are. They're rapping. You could, there's an app you could put in your phone to play. Uh, you can actually make a song on your phone. You can you can seen you it. can make beats on the phone. Uh, yeah. Somebody that work with they they get they got the app. Sure, I seen it. So I mean, nowadays it's like you could pretty much do anything. It's just about getting somebody to once you do it, getting somebody to give you that quality sound. Mm -hmm. And then once you got that, it's game over. Put you know out. what I'm saying? Market that thing right, and you know what I'm saying? Like promote it the way it's supposed to be, and ain't no turning back. Yeah, you know, that's just what it is. Like, it ain't, ain't turning no back. Let's let's um let's take it back to the beginning. There's some yeah. people that know the story, okay. but not everybody knows the story. So let let's take the history back. So even before we were rapping, most people know we're cousins, we're family. So about eighty nine, the year is eighty nine, and originally you're from Harlem, right? You know, right. for those that don't know, you you from New York. You get to the burn around 89. Right. All right, so 
you know, we're over at Aunt's house, you know, we get introduced and everything, and, you know, we, we got a big family, you know, we Facts. have a, a huge family, <laughs> you know, Facts. so most of them is in the bird, but, you know, we got family down south, New York, of course, and a couple other places, so I don't know how much you remember, but I remember, like, in the beginning, like, we bumped heads. Right. You yeah, know what yeah. I'm saying? I think you being the, the new person, new city, new environment, and me just used to, you know, I got brothers and I got other cousins. I'm like, who this guy? Right. You right, know what I'm right, saying? Right, right, right. So we, we kind of bumped heads, but we weren't that different in age. So it didn't take long for us to kind of gel. You right. You know what I'm saying? Right. We started hanging together. And early on, you kind of picked up a sense of the streets and um, just being able to, how to move around. Right. Me, right. I, I was green to it, you know. I, I was a lame, I was in the house, you know what I'm saying? But right, even early on, right, yeah. Yeah, you, you kind of picked that up, and like I said, you had just came to her, and you already picked up that sense of the streets and where to move, how to move. So when we were hanging, even though I was the older cousin, I was kind of hanging with you. Yes, you know what I'm saying? Yes, because, yes, like yes. I said, you, you was, you was, and, and, and you, you've always had to get gab, so you were able to meet people, and people were able to befriend you off the bat, you know what I'm saying? So, it, it became a thing to where when we were together, it was more so us hanging on your street or your block, right. you know what I'm saying? Right. From time to time, we come down my way, right? you know, but it was just more so hanging around you. So... Let's take it up to the summertime of 1990, and I remember this clear as day, and we would go to the, uh, they, they had like the summer lunch program. But yeah, yeah, yeah. At, at, the, at the church. Yeah. I think yep. on Atlantic. On Atlantic, yep. yeah. Definitely. And, and like I said, we, 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 we were sync by that point. You know, we were always together. And I don't know if you remember the, uh, the, uh, contest that they had it was like a uh not an open mic but it was like a uh like a music contest a music contest i yeah. do remember <laughs> and i signed this up mm -hmm. and of course you know we weren't really in the music at that time i mean we young bucks so signed this up we didn't win the talent show but for me something kind of stuck with me and at that time i don't know if it stuck with you yet but for some reason, after that day, I just started writing, you know. Yeah, I mean, I think it did kind of stick with me for real, though, because it was a lot of what I was like. It was a lot of tension behind it. Uh -huh. And see, that was the thing. I'm like, ooh, like, you know <laughs> what I mean? Like, you know, you get that, that, that feel, like, you know, like I said, coming from where I'm coming from in my situation, it was like, ooh, they're paying me attention. Like, okay. It wasn't even about the win. It was more or less still the recognition. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So feeling that, I was with it. Like, it's because I want to say, literally from that day forth, is when we just start trying to come up with stuff. Like, oh, I'm coming down. I'm, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And see, that was the thing. Like, even though coming from New York, coming up here, it's like, what people don't be understanding, I, 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 was, I was conscious of a lot of things because not knowing y'all, I had to pay attention. Okay. See, it's called observation. Like you get in a room full of people you don't know. I'm watching. Like I don't, I don't know you. I, I, they saying you're my cousin, but <laughs> I don't know you. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So I have to pay attention mm -hmm. to what's around me. You know what I'm saying? So that's how I got real witty with the streets. Mm -hmm. Cause I had to watch. I'm like, look, I see dude. He's over there. He's smoking this. He's <laughs> doing that. Like, what is that? Okay. Well, what, what, you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's like you know you gotta catch on quick. Right. You know what I mean? I'm like, all right. So I'm always sitting back and I'm kind of like more or less quiet because I'm watching at the mm -hmm. time. I'm like, okay, well, you're your cousin, my God. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, but you know, that that that's how the street nature became. Mm -hmm. And once I got a hold of that, and it's like, I'm listening. And the gift of gab came from really sitting around listening to other people talk. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, hmm, Okay. So, you know, now repeating what he said and, you know, some things worked, some things didn't, you know what I'm saying? But that was called the trials and tribulations. Mm -hmm. I had to soak it, it out. All in it. Soak it in and figure it out. Like, all right, well, I ain't going to say that no more because they ain't really, they wasn't really receptive to that. Mm -hmm. So, uh -uh, let's go about it a different way. Let me add a word or two in there and then let me say it to somebody else and see if it's smooth mm -hmm. enough to get what I want. You know what I'm saying? Because at that time, that's what it was really about. It was about 
getting what I wanted to see if I could get it. You know, and being in that situation, it sort of taught me how to play on people. You know what I mean? Because it's like, well, you know, like, well, can I get this? Can I get that? And and, and, and at the time, like, people were just giving me stuff because it was like, like, like sympathy. Like, you know, this dude's lost his mom. You know what I mean? I'm like, oh, wow. Like, okay, this is how this works. Not really knowing no better than I'm, I'm young. I'm a, right. I'm a child. I really don't know that. You know what I'm saying? Like, in the long run, this may can hurt somebody because, you know what I mean? I'm mm -hmm. just doing it at the time because I'm like, I, I need stuff. Like, right. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> look, you know, he got old, this shoe. I don't really know, but he looks like cool. They look like cool shoes. You know what I'm saying? So right. I want some too. And you telling me you can't buy them. So let me figure out if I can get Uncle Joe to get them. You, you know, know what I'm saying? Like, hey, Uncle Joe, look, I don't. <laughs> you know what I mean? so, and then when I start saying certain things start working, I'm like, okay. But in reality, it was kind of like the wrong thing because it's escalated into something that, like, really manifested into something that I, I lost a lot. You know what I'm saying? Like, I lost a lot. I lost, you know, it wasn't even about, I lost a lot of life. I lost a lot of trust. I lost a lot of friends. I lost a lot of, you know what I'm saying? Because it became like something to do. Like it was only the only way of life for that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, you know, it's good in the beginning, but it turned out to be something that, uh-uh, I can't do that. Like I'm losing everything around me. I can't, uh-uh. Like people was like, I ain't fucking with him. Right. You know what I mean? And I, that, that was never something that I really wanted. It was like something that I learned on and it just stuck with me. And it's just mm -hmm. like, but what I will say from that is how, I was able to write good music. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like I could put words together. I always been good with words. Yes, one of the best. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, you know, this is turning out to be something nice. You yeah, you're storytelling. We 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 have a, a few people in the industry who is known for the storytelling. Pop was one of them. Nas. I always consider you one of the better storytellers. And part of that come from the trials and tribulations that you went through, especially at an early age. So you had Facts. content early, and you was writing. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Weird. Like, like, I, re I remember some of my old lyrics, man. I used to be like, you know, and I look back and I'd be like, I mean, I remember being like 13, 14, and people were like, man, you know, like, you can be the next Tupac. I'm like, huh? <laughs> you know, them, them big shoes to fill, yes. you know what I'm saying? But... And my rhymes, it's like when I rap those raps, like at that, even at that age, grown people was feeling it. Like, mm -hmm. you know, as I'm talking about my mom, and I'm talking about this, and I'm, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm dug in in the streets at the time, so I'm like, let's get it. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? And, and as the words is coming out, I'm like, damn, like, I, I wrote that? Like, right. you know, I sit back and listen to me, like, Ooh, that's nice. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, but that's where that's where it came from. You know what I'm saying? That was, but even yet, and still, that's how we was because see, you gave a different perspective to the music because you was more hip hop. Mm -hmm. So it's like the combination was like good together. It's like hip hop with street. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So it made the song kind of like you know you got it. You got the best of both worlds. Yes. You know you spitting the hip hop. I'm on the gangster shit, and they just like. Okay, I see where they're going with it. You know what I mean? Right. I remember I remember your mom used to be listening to it. I'd be like, I'm thinking, you hear that? Like, right. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. yeah. And she used to be like, go, go, go ahead and finish making y'all music. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because she, Because she always been in the music. Yeah. So yeah. when you really look at it, it's probably something that you was going to be destined to do anyway mm -hmm. because she's always been in the music. I come in the crib. I mean, she had every <laughs> CD that right? man has made. Right. And I'm like... You know, but I'm looking at her. See, the thing, I'm looking at her like she old. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But she, 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 was she in her prime and yeah. she moving and she like, look, that's what I'm into. Like. She brought my first <laughs> N.W.A. album. You know what I'm saying? She she, she definitely was on the music. I, I credit her for a lot of it. And then, like you said, when you was like 13 or 14, she brought my first karaoke machine. And then yeah. that's when, you know, back then was the original mixtape. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Because all you had was a cassette deck. We had the one mic. Yeah, that's and it. we both were trying to rap over instrumentals. Yep. And then you had the, the double uh, deck recorder. And we would tape over other people's beats. Yep. And that's what a mixtape was back then. You yeah. know, that's yeah. what we was doing. 
And then Facts. I think, you know, I think like like you mentioned earlier, the mobster, that was one of the first songs we did. I think we were calling ourselves like Crush Money or something. Yeah, like that. yeah. I you was know? uh hold on. Cause you was uh MC uh, Crush. Crush you were MC Money, Money. I yeah, 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 yeah. Cause that fits your persona because at that time that's that's what you was. Yeah, right. You always had money on you. You was coming up. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, like you that's were crazy. Stylish. stylish. You yeah. was Harlem, and it's crazy now that I know about Harlem cats. It's crazy because it was in you, even though you left. It's it was in your there, blood. Like, it's in your blood. Swear, like, like, it was dude, there. That's like, what a Harlem cat there. do. It's about the look. It's about the swag in the game. That's a Harlem cat. Swear. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and when I tell people where I'm from, they be like, I could kind of tell that about you. Like, and I'm like, huh? But it, it be like, you know, it, it, it was crazy because even though I've been here so long, people always be like, you ain't from Pittsburgh, are you? You know, why you say that? There's something about you. Like, it's just something. And then, I, then, I, then I tell them, like, nah, you know, they be like, I, I, I. I figured that, like, is it something of, like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if it's just the, the, the charisma mm -hmm. or just the way I come off or, but they be like, this is something about you. I mean, I had women say, I, I've been in dudes, I mean, I've been in prison with dudes and they've been like, yo, like, where you from? I be like, what do you mean? I'm from this part, I told you that. I'm like, no, you ain't, no. They're like, no, I'm from Harlem, but like, you know what I'm saying? I figured there was something, I'm like, yeah, 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 you know what I'm saying? Right, right. But I've had people really question that, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like, yo, you know, like, maybe this is what it is. Right. But I think true. that goes back to, like you said, best of both worlds. Yeah. I, I think you have that countryness that a Pittsburgher has, but you have that intellect and swag of a Harlem, New York cat. Really? And I think that's why, like I said earlier, you got to get the gab because you can talk with the best of them. You Swear. know what I'm saying? And you can put me in any lane and... I mean, you could sit me in front of a white man. We could be sitting there about, yeah, and, 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 and we're going to have a good conversation. And at one point in time that I can grasp a thought in his mind. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Because he might sit there and think he's talking to somebody down there until I open my mouth. He's like, Martin. No, he's going to be in tune and in sync with every word I got to say because, see, I'm going to gravitate off of what he says. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay. I know. And as he's talking, I'm going to know exactly how to rebuttal. Mm -hmm. I'm just waiting for him to shut up. Okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I got him. You know what I'm saying? Chess with him. Yeah, I, I got him. God, keep talking. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, and and once again, coming from places like prison and stuff like that, where I had to put myself in positions where I had, to, I really needed to get the gas. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They talking about these many years, and I'm look here, man. But we're gonna figure this out, right? right? You know what I'm saying? I'm, a, but I'm gonna sit there and listen. Okay, now I got you. Here we go. Look, this, 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 this. You know, it was, you know, it was times as an adult where that gift of gab needed to come back. Yeah. And, and and that was when I needed the most. I'm like, you know what? I got it. Don't worry about it. I'm letting him talk. Da, 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 da. And, but as he's talking, I'm sitting there like, oh, I got to see Yeah, you set him up. I'm setting right up for the kid. I'm like, yeah, this, this, that. And now I got it. The next to you, but... By the grace of God, you know what I'm saying? It always worked. And what's crazy is that, whew, I've been in some situations, man. <laughs> That's I'm telling you, way yeah, out of. man. I'm like, listen, man, it ain't got to be all about that. Like, we can figure <laughs> this out, you know what I mean? And, you know, and I, but, I, but I stand here today, you know what I'm saying? That's what a, what a, what a um, how they say it. Sometimes you got to be the coward that lives. You can't always be the hero that dies, right? Because That's said, real talk. Everybody ain't John Wayne, man. Look, this ain't the Wild Wild West. Sometimes you gotta suck it up. It ain't about right now, but it's about tomorrow. And if I can make it to tomorrow, I can fix what's going on right now. Right? You gotta know where to pick your bell. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? If you ain't got that mad concept, then, I mean, you, you, <laughs> it's over, Joe. Like, you know what I mean? Like, ain't nothing good for real, for real about being a hero, man. Depending on what it is you're trying to say. You know what I'm saying? That's what it really comes down to. Mm -hmm. like, it's, it's cool to be the hero, but. It's it is the risk worth the reward. That's it. You know, what are you trying to say? You know what I'm saying? If it don't add up, it ain't worth doing it. Like, no, you know what? I'm going to walk away from this. I'm going to say my life in you. Thank you, because you just don't know. Yeah. And, you know, <laughs> sometimes people should be like, thank you. You know right? what I'm saying? They just you don't know. know. You ain't the only one yeah, that yeah, I used to yeah, go. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you can plan like that, but you know what? I'm going to think for the both of us. 
I'm going to take the sucker route out. But by me taking the sucker route, I just spirit you a lot. Right? We both get to see the world. You go home, I'm going to go home, man. It's all over. You know what I'm saying? People don't always think like that. They think like, I chucked on more. You know what I mean? That's maturity because you will get some cats who try to be so street that they're like, I ain't going to let nobody pump me. But dude, like, you live to fight another, another day, day because it may not have even been that serious. Exactly. See, that's the thing. See, that's the thing about when people try to be street. It's it, a ooh, difference. Ooh. Either you are or you're right. not. But see, when you put yourself in the business where you try, and that's just like, you know, nothing against the, you know, like, you, 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 you get people that try to be things that you're not, and you can read right through it for mm-hmm. them because they're, they're, they're overdoing it. Yeah. You know what I'm they saying? Like do it. Yeah, because mm-hmm. that's, that's not you. You're just you're trying to be that. When something is naturally being done, it flows naturally. That's just how it comes off. Like, you know what I mean? You can sit here busting up, you know. You don't have to be like, you know what? You the you try to or your chest is up, you're doing all this. Right. You, you don't gotta do that. I can still have a cold, calm conversation. Right. Like when you and you can y'all. tell that we <laughs> want some street shit. You right. know what I mean? Like I don't got to jump up and ooh, ooh, and look, I'm gonna get the hammer it. You're doing too much. See, that's trying to do. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's just like, you know, you know, nothing against the community, but that's just like a man when he's trying to be a woman. He's trying. Mm-hmm. So you can almost tell that he's not a woman because he's trying yep. to be a woman. Yeah, you naturally. Naturally, a woman's going to just naturally have that type of, that sass mm-hmm. with her. You know, she ain't trying. That's just her. Like, it's just a flow. You know, it's natural. You know? Right. But when you got somebody trying to be that, it's, <clears throat> it's the extra. Like, mm-hmm. you've been doing too much. You know what I mean? So, I mean, that's basically what it comes down to. And that's what it comes down to even with the music. Like, I never tried to rap. It just came out. Because it was always from the heart. You mm-hmm. feel what I'm saying? So my words always flew from how I really felt. So it was no me. You know what I'm saying? Like I've, And I've tried to sit down there and, 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 and be like, oh, you can do it. And, and get writer's block because it's not me. Yeah, you're forcing something else when when you let it flow. It's like tears. They flow. It's and I'd have been around you when you wrote and you just... Get another notebook for him because it's it's coming. It's coming, you right? Know? It just you know what I'm saying because I didn't have to really think about it. Mm-hmm. It was something that was on my chest, and I knew how to put it in words, and it made sense. Like you understood everything I was saying to you. Yeah, like, you understood it. I didn't have to break it down. You felt it. Like wow, I can't believe he just wrote that. Now I could take something me and you kicking it. Something happened and write a whole song about it because that was real. That's what really happened. I don't have to think about it. I didn't have to like look at a dictionary and try to find words. It was there. It was right there. It was like the seed was already planted. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? It was it, it was there. So all I had to do was sit down and be like, you know what? It's like somebody that like when they write poetry. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like poets don't really take a lot of time. They they really speaking from their heart. Mm-hmm. So and, and it's gonna flow like that. You know that's why it don't take me long to write music. Mm-hmm. If I sit down and with anybody and I put that beat on. Like he might be sitting over talking about XYZ and I might be off subject only because I can only write how I feel. And that beat's taking me to a place where what I feel. Mm-hmm. And even though it might be a little bit off subject to what you're talking about, when it's all said and done, it's gonna go together. Right. You know what I'm saying? And that's how me and you was. Like I said, you was the hip hop, I was the gangster. It was like you rapping about one thing, I'm talking about something else, but when it was put the, the chemistry was put together. Nope. Like, mm-hmm. like, like, okay. See, because I, I didn't know how to write. I I, I wasn't hip hop. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You were. Well, 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 neither one of us knew how to write in the beginning. But you were me. more hip hop, though. You feel what I'm saying? You always had that natural. I think, and when I think it comes from, though, like I said, I think it comes from your mom, though, mm-hmm. playing that music. And, yeah. Like, because she was always in the music. She so was. she had the old records and the. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, so you was always, you know. In the house, you know, listen to this, yeah. this and that, jam into the dub. While I'm in the street running around like You're a right. nut. You're right. You, you feel what you I'm saying? You had the stories because you was in the street, and I had the melodies and the structure because I was in the house and I heard the different yeah, songs. Yeah, you was hearing the different songs. Mm-hmm. You hearing the, you know what I'm saying? Like, you was actually, like, when, I think, I want to say, like, when when we was listening to, uh, like, Hannah Feel Good to be a gangster, stuff like that, like, you was already really hip with it. I wasn't even really hip with it because mm-hmm. I wasn't even really in tune to the music like You know that. what I was doing? When I had the, um, well, I'm, 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 let, me, let me go back just, just a little bit. Around, I'd say about 
92, 93. Um, I meet Scott B, or should I say he met me. Okay. And this is in, in high school. And um, we used to uh, have the, the battle sessions during lunch. We had two lunch periods. So during my lunch period, I would see cats rapping and battling. I was too scared, but I would rap to myself, and I would be beaten, so I would watch them. So there was one day when he caught me rapping, and he was like, you rap? I'm like, yeah, because we had a class together. So later on that week, or either maybe days later, he was like, look, I got some stuff out the crib. Why don't you come through? So he cut my first demo. I went over there. He had some instrumentals. And then I rapped, that was my first time rapping over instrumentals in, uh, outside of, outside of my crib. Because like I said, when we <coughs> did have mm -hmm. the, the mic and, and me and you would rap over instrumentals. Right. So I was going to National Record Mart and I was going to Sam Goody and I would get the 12 inch singles. And right. Every single had the instrumental and it had a B side. So just like the ghetto boys, never feels good to be a gangster. Right. So outcast everything. I would go cop them. We come back and we would write and rap over the instrumentals. And that's how me and you started getting our practice on, and we started yeah. learning how to structure songs. <coughs> and you know, it's funny about that because see how you just put that. See, you was going to the record mark and all this. See, but while you doing all that, I'm running around <laughs> like a nut. You know right, what I'm right. saying? So once again, you had you had the hip hop in. You. Me, I'm just like, you know, I don't know what's going on until I get the call. Cuz, you coming down? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm coming down. Then now I'm down there. Now we making music. But I really don't know what's going on. I'm just like, yeah. you like, here, I'm going to put this beat on it. Here, go ahead and write. I get the pencil and the pen. I'm like, okay, come on. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Not really in tune. But see, here, here's where the, the nature of me just come out. Because it was, once it began, it was easy to flow. Yeah. See, you, you already like, look, I'm, before I even call, cuz, I'm going to go. I mean, you already set up and ready to go. It was like you already had the entrepreneur mindset then. Mm -hmm. You know, you was already in it then. Like, cause by the time I got there, I don't know, everything was really ready to go. I just needed the pencil and the pen. You was already kind of directing things. Well, we went right to this beat. We went, all right, I'm going to loop this loop. I'm like, well, how many times you got to do that before you get a whole time? Like, you know, I, I ain't educational on it at all. I'm like, okay, well, I'm just down here to write and kick it with you. That's mm -hmm. what we're doing. Right. You know, so it was really like getting past the times, but even though getting past the times, what it became was therapy. Mm -hmm. Because when I would get away from the streets, this was my time to come be with you and sit down and just write about it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? When you, when, when, like, I couldn't, the shit I was saying in my raps, I couldn't sit down and say to Aunt Mary. Mm -hmm. You know, I wasn't supposed to be doing that. You right. feel what I'm saying? Right. So it was like, here, I could rap about it. You know, it, it's therapy. I can say what I feel in these songs because this is who I'm talking to. Like, I would sit down and tell you stuff like, hey, cuz, look, I did this, I did that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But you became my trust factor. You feel mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So what I was doing in the streets, I couldn't go home with it. So I do exactly what it comes. Like, okay, you know what I'm saying? All right, come on, come on back. Right. You know what I'm saying? And that always stuck with me, you know, just like, you know, once we came from the crushed money type, now we the chosen few, and then, you know what I'm saying, like, but I never switched my course, I always mm -hmm. remained to still be that same boat, it's like, you know what I'm saying, like, this is what it is, like, this is how I'm coming, and then this one morning come in the picture, and I, like, kind of, like, a little intimidated about Ducky, because he, like, he got them bars, and I'm yeah, like, he had bars. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But once again, now here come the chemistry again. Mm -hmm. Here come the hip hop. Here come the bars. And here come the street. Because even Duckett wasn't in the street. You know what I'm saying? Like he wasn't really you know the type to really be out there in the street. You know what I'm saying? Like you know, like like you know, we'd do house parties and stuff like that. But that's not being in the street. You know what I'm saying? It was a difference. You know what I'm saying? Like he wasn't out there trapping and. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Sleeping in bandos, he didn't have to. You know what I'm saying? Mom Dukes was at the crib, rest in peace. You know what I'm saying? Like, he didn't, y'all didn't have to really, like, I didn't really have to, but 
I felt like it was like a forceful situation coming from my situation. I'm about to say, yeah, you you were in a different type of house, and that, than right? We were. Environment, so you, know you had saying? a little more pressure to follow this route than we we did, right? Because you had two. See what it was in the household. You had two role models. You had Anth and you had Sheree. Mm -hmm. Then was the two. You know, Reg, he in jail. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So he ain't there to follow. Then that, after that, it's nothing but girls. Mm -hmm. So now I got to pick a direction. So so indeed, I'm trying to follow. Sharif at first, that's where I was trying to go. I'm playing football. I'm playing basketball. I'm doing all those things. I'm trying to hang with him, but this is what it becomes. It becomes to the, I became the little annoying little brother. <laughs> you know, he got his own little group, but you know, he's older than me, so at this time, he got chicks, and yeah. I ain't got no girls. He's hanging with cats his age. Yeah, you mm -hmm. see what I'm saying? So it's like, man, find something to do. You know, right. he's chewing me off. I'm like, okay, but see, then you had Anthony, who was in the streets, and mm -hmm. he was like, that's what you want to do. Come on. You know what I'm saying? But he protected. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He didn't just let me just fall face forward. He was just like, this you want to do? Come on. But I ain't going, you know what I'm saying? He let me, you know, kind of like straddle behind him. So now I'm just picking up the game. Mm -hmm. Picking it up, picking it up. And I'm just seeing it. And I'm just like, you know what? I'm all in. I'm red rag on my head. Young skinny dude. Like, you know what I'm saying? Now, but I'm, 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 I'm face first into it. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? See, you and I, I, all the while while this was going on, you got two still in the crib, back in the crib, back on the school, you got graduate, yeah. and we kept with the music, you know, well, yeah. you kept with the street. street. So even though we still hung as far as us hanging, because we in the same hood, as far as the music go, you had this part, this pitchfork in the road, and you were in the streets, we were in the studio. And that's how me and him was able to get so close, close. because he kind of picked up the slack and me and him jail because he was a little bit of both of us. Yeah. You know, he, he, he was more street than I was, but he also had that hip hop that you mentioned. And I didn't know what was going on then. It was like, I think you introduced me to that when, um, I did. When I came to Atlanta. Mm -hmm. When I came to Atlanta and you show me, and I'm like, well, what is this? Like, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. at that time, you know, and see, that was the crazy part about it because at that time, I was focused. But I picked the wrong time. I'm running from the feds. I, I can't, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I remember, you remember I told you, because I was like, cuz, I'm ready to not go back. Yeah. He was like, cuz, go ahead back, man. I'm like, man, look, I'm down. I've been down for what, two weeks, something like that? Yeah. I'm like, look, I'm ready to stay down with her. Like, they want to catch me when they can. I know. He was like, cuz, just go ahead back. I'm like, you said go ahead back. Like, oh, we'll be there for a day. We talking some years. I know. I know what I mean? I think I was looking at the bigger picture because I knew how big this could be for us and not only that for but for you plus yeah. at that time and, and that's good that, that you brought that up so we can we can get on that your your first really this was your first project and it's good because this one you were working on when i was in atlanta and you were in pittsburgh so that's another thing that that i, I like to uh let people know that a lot of the stuff you did you didn't do no help you did on your own and this was one of those this was probably the first thing that set your 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 solo part in gear is when we were apart yep and i was in atlanta doing my music thing and then you were in the bird and you started working on your debut project yeah. and the songs oh my god they were crazy you were picking good beats yeah, the I, content I, was there. I'm hungry. Uh, my world, my way, my life. I mean, them joints is on my space to this day. Yeah, yeah. You know, and they bang, and we really need to get them remade. Be honest yeah, for, them, for them, real. Them, them shits, them joints, you know. <laughs> them was some fires, man. And, right? see, and that was crazy. And it was like, and, you know, I, I you know, I aspire myself then, but it's still like, you know what I'm saying? When I, in the midst of getting these done, I'm still reaching out to people like, yo, Cuz, like, you know, wanting you to be happy for me, like, right. hey, cuz, you know, I'm getting this album done, you know what I'm saying, I'm coming down there, and at the time, you know, I had Ned, like, listen, he coming down, I'm gonna make sure he come down there, he got the money, he coming down there, mm -hmm. she put me on the Greyhound, like, bah, go ahead, right. bah, you know what I'm saying, I get down there, man, and I was, like, so excited, I'm like, you know, and that's when you introduced me to the Fruity Loops, and I'm like, what is this, you make the beats to him, you like, go cuz, let me show you. Right, I know you, you made a couple big too. Yeah, yep. I'm like, yep. there. I'm like, oh, okay, all right, this is how you do it, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I mean? And, and that's crazy because that's before the Pro Tool and, you know, we still talking old school. Mm -hmm. That's before all that. We're talking. Yeah, this is like, oh, like, yeah, this is, is like, this like 03. So this is really, yeah, this is the first 
I think this there was only one version of Fruity Loops. No, we time. talking at this time. It was like ninety nine going to two thousand because I went to prison. And, um, no, well, the Fruity Loops part was oh three because that's when you came to Atlanta. No, cause I'm trying. I came down there in um, two thousand because I, I went to I went to um, I started doing my time August. Because I went to jail so I left you. Oh, you know what? You know what? You're right. I, went to jail I wasn't in Atlanta that long when you came. I yeah. That that, I went to jail as soon as I left you. As soon as I left you, because that's why I kept saying I don't want to go back. Yeah. Because I knew when I went back, it was time to turn myself in. Because I think I came I think I think came down on like like June or July. It was summertime. It was mm. real hot. And I'm like, yo, it's hot as hell yeah. down here. Like, yeah. And, yeah. You, and, and when you was going to work, you showed me how to catch the bus. So I would go to the underground yep. every day, and I would sit in the pizza court. I remember like it was yesterday, and I eat the <laughs> same pizza, pizza, just looking at the ground like this. Oh, all these girls right. down here. So now, you know, and look, they don't know me down there, but I still think I'm that rapper. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? I'm like, suck, like, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, <laughs> I mean, like, that's crazy, though. And it was it, the last day, man. I mean, it was butterflies in my stomach. I'll never forget that. I'm like, man, I don't want to feel feeling yo, like. This is right, like right now. This is where it's at, and I just kept beating myself up. Like you picked the wrong time to want to do the right thing, boy. I tell you, you do it every time, and I just kept saying that to myself. I kept saying, I don't want to go back, man. I'm cool, like I. Right. <laughs> but you know, lo and behold, it wouldn't matter where I would have went. They'd have found me. Anyway, mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, it was like a good thing I did. You know what I'm saying? But it was like a bad thing too, because when I came out, I didn't have to drive no more. Because mm -hmm. I'm like. This shit that exhausted me, but you still moving though. I'm, I'm still looking at videos. I'm like, man, he putting out a video like every month. He's doing this, he's doing that. And I'm like, see, this would have been the situation that we would have been in. Yeah. If I would have been like, you know what I'm saying? But you kept on going, and I'm like, your motivation for the music has always been crazy, but it's always been inspiring, mm -hmm. especially to me. I always have to give my hats off to you because I'm telling you, like, there's certain things I see. And even though I might not even be in the mood, there's certain videos I've seen or certain songs that I heard, and I'd be like, it'd make me go and write some. Even mm -hmm. though I wasn't putting it out, I'm just like, you know, and, and for that moment, I would have that urge to jump back in it. Mm -hmm. But then it would be something that would sad shot me because now I got kids, and you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I'm a man now, so mm -hmm. it's different from, you know, that, that time, you know, that I didn't know what it was about to sacrifice mm -hmm. but you did it though you did it like you sacrificed a lot it take a lot it take a bold man to just up one day and be like you know what i'm moving to atlanta you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. you went down there with the scraps you had mm -hmm. you had support down there so you got on your feet and it was turning into the big things but that you know that, that's what it's really about and i'm learning that mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying i'm even learning that to this day like to get ahead you gonna have to sacrifice some things that you probably would have felt like, you know what I'm saying, you needed or you got, you know, that had every, that had every, that had all greatness. It's a story behind that. Right. Nobody just woke up and was like, I'm great today and was that dude, you know what I'm saying? Yes. It was something that they did along those ways to get them to that point. To that point, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it was the hunger, mm -hmm. you know, it was the hunger. You got to be hungry for this or it doesn't work. You don't, and see, a lot of people think that. They think they, oh, I'm going to make a song, wake up, and I'm rich. It doesn't yeah, overnight. Work like it that. don't, yeah, that, it don't <laughs> I don't work. care how hard Ain't it nobody is. that's big just started going into day before, yeah. even if you don't know their backstory. It don't work like it that. Nobody. It don't work nobody. like that. And that's what I'm saying. Like, you had that drive. That was, you always been one for motivation. Even if I might have not told you all the time, you still had that drive. I was definitely sitting back watching, like, Okay, you know what I mean? I'm watching these music videos. I'm like, okay, he's doing this thing. No. And I'm up here bragging, like, yeah, my cousin down there, he's talking to this person, this person, he's doing this, he's doing that. And then it's like, well, what you going to do? You feel what I'm yeah. saying? But once again, here I go again, running around. Boom, now I'm back in prison. And I'm just like, what is I'm going? Like, here come another roadblock, another setback. Oh, but that's one, one thing I say, that's why I named the album Moses. And it's like, you know, just going through things and at the same time dealing with a lot of stuff women problems death jail this and i'm like Appreciate losing calling. yeah like and, and and every time they called i'm like you would thought they like i had a they had a hex on me i'm just right. like picked up that phone yeah i'm on the way literally 
You know what I'm saying? And at the time, you know, it would have been nothing for me to really come home from the first presence man, and just come right down and be with you mm -hmm. for real because I had the support to say you can do that because mm -hmm. they had faith in my music then. It yeah. was, you know what I'm saying? Like, man, like, go. If that's what you want to do, go. Because she was riding then. She mm -hmm. wanted that. She child. was. Me and her was, you know was talking every, just about every day. And at that point, when I started, I had started my label. And I went out and got uh, machinery, and I started printing up. Remember, we, we took your gel pits. I started working on your album cover, yep. your graphics. I still got them in my phone. I still got them in my phone right now because they're on my Facebook. Swear. All that stuff. You know, we we, we, we taught me, and you was writing each other. Yeah. I was like, cool. I said, they got this new thing called Facebook. Oh, I set yeah. you up an account. Yeah. Started putting your music, you know, all that. E even putting you on every song. And it was hard because when I was in the studio, I... I you was right there on my shoulder, right there with me. So yeah. there's so many songs that I recorded that got boulders in it. it yeah. Shout out to my cousin Boulders, yep. or so and so and Boulders, like yep. dude, like everybody know who Boulders is because yeah. it seemed like every other song had your name, name in it. Yep. You right. know, so I definitely said kept I'm me alive, this. and I'm like, you know, and 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 that 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 to me was always still motivation, like because I would listen to these songs, I'd be like, damn, he gave me a shout out, like. You know what I mean? This is this is this for real for real, like this is where it's at. It was just distracting. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But once again, you had that you you had what they call like in Rocky, man. You had to add a tag or like you was focused on what it is you wanted and that's what you wanted to do. Period. It was nobody can knock you off that pedal. It wasn't a woman man alive that could tell you like, Look, man, just give up. Right. I'ma give you up. Right. You know what I mean? And I, I watched it. You know, I, I seen you with different women and, you know, relationships. And you had that strong, like, that, that strong sense about you. It was nothing for you to just break up with somebody. I ain't never see you cry over it or nothing. You just like, <laughs> I'm gone. And I'm like, damn, he's good with that. Like, because I'd be like, I'm going to kill you. But he like, look here. You got to go. I, I ain't got this to do. So I'm saying, like, you know, and I'm like, how does he do that? Like, because I know he loves these girls. And it was like, you were so focused, though. Mm -hmm. It didn't bother. It's like, you know, I'd rather lose you than lose me. And because, that was like your mindset. like Because at that, at that point in my life, music was my wife. So these women I was dating, they were the sad pieces anyway. Because I had the love. That going back to what we were saying earlier, where we were just doing it, just messing around. But by that point in my life, oh, this we locked. She's not going anywhere, ever. <laughs> <laughs> you know? So, yeah, yeah we're going to do right. what we got to do. But um, if you want to go, cool. cool. I appreciate the time we spent and hit the studio. And that's one thing that I know you can appreciate this. And like you said, uh, there would be a lot of times where you would see where I was just so focused. But some of that focus, I'm human. I had my bad days. But... Fortunately, I had the music that I could depend on and rely on yeah. because, like anybody that listens to my music, like really listen to my music, I pour my heart all the time. Yeah, and I've, I've heard you know? some. That's what I'm saying. See, that's what I be meaning. Like that instrument, man. That musical instrument to use as a heart string. Mm -hmm. Like you be like, oh, I'm gonna play it right now. I ain't gonna let you know. I ain't gonna let you know. But if you know me, you're gonna catch on to what I'm saying, and you'll be like, okay, now it's coming. You know what I mean? Now it's coming out because you're standing in your music. And I know the situation, so I'm feeling it. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Now, dude across the room, man, now he might just be thinking this is just hard bars. Right. But to me, I'm like, it's hard bars, but it's hard to tell. Right. I'm like, yo, I know he was down with that girl in Atlanta, and, and this is what happened. So when he said this, like, I know what he's talking about. Right. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and that's what I'm saying. You didn't allow it to... Like, when you was in any situations, you didn't allow them to, like, devour you. You kind of mm -hmm. devoured them. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's that. Man, listen, man. But we got birthdays in the same month, man. Right. It, it, look, man, it take a strong person to come from where we came from. Because, I mean, you know, we got to look at it logically. Every loss I lost, you took it with me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, we blood. You know what I'm saying? So, when they went, went, went. It's just that you go about things a lot different. You know what I'm saying? That's 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 what really all it is. The same losses I took, you took them too. Yeah. You just got this. You just got this thick coat on you, like you know. And it's not to say that 
You don't feel it. Mm -hmm. You don't think about it. You just go about it different. You know what I'm saying? Everybody can't do that. You feel what I'm saying? I know some people in, 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 in our positions that lost some of the things that we done lost, man, they smoke crack, they yeah. junkies, they suicidal. Out. You, yeah. you feel what I'm saying? So you know that, that, that you know you gotta take a hat off to somebody like that. Like you went through all that, man, and you got you still stay? You feel what I'm saying? Like that type of situation don't you know, that shit don't form normal. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? That ain't just something you wake up every day and be like, yeah, well, fuck it, they bad, it's cool. Like, you know, you know what I'm saying? Unless you just out of your mind. Yeah. You know, but when you're in the right state of mind, that shit affects you. You know, and it affects people in different ways. But you, like, you display the definition of what strength is because I watched. You know, I watched. You know what I'm saying? I, and, and it's like, okay, like, you took that really on the chin. Like, you know, like, but for me, it was more or less, you know, some shit I just let it devour me. But more or less nowadays, I try to use them as vessels. You know what I mean? And to be like, you know what? I ain't gonna let this shit be in vain. You know, right. I can't get them back, but I can make them proud. You know? And even, you know, just looking back on, you know, from the beginning with my mom, like, you know, that shit hurt me for all my life. And literally, like, People don't know what that feels like until it happens. Seriously, that's like a mother losing a child. It's the same way with a child losing his mother. It's the same effect. It's just vice versa. You know what I'm saying? Like when times come around and that Christmas tree's up, who's the first person you think I think about? Mm -hmm. Feel what I'm saying? Like, damn, mom. Like, so during the holiday times, I tell people, I don't really don't care. Like, I don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't, you know. Merry yeah, because, Christmas, but I ain't really into this shit. Like, you're, you know what I'm saying? Because like, the, those closest to you are here. The, the Rashidas, the one there. Yeah, that, the that's Sharon's, my circle. Yeah, that's yeah, my circle. The so, Anthony's. You know, when holiday time comes, that's who I'm depending on first. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So even when you look outside of the fact that my mom, like, you know, I'm married right there. This is still my, you know, when holiday time come out, of get under the tree. So even as a grown man, you, when these times come, I just reflect. And I'd be like, damn, it, it, it sort of like sinks me in. You feel what I'm saying? And I don't use it to be an excuse to do nothing fucked up or nothing. It's just reality. It's just what it is. I can't stop it. I can't, you know, be like, oh, man, it didn't happen. You know, this, this is real life. So, you know, like, when these times come around, I don't really be all right, all jolly with that. And it's crazy because, like, once again, you lost what I lost. So it's like the... the the coat that you wear, I'm like, damn, like, how do they do it? Because I be in, out of my mat, and the thing about it is, I lost some of these people during these times right now. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Day before Thanksgiving, week before Christmas. You, know, you see yeah. what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, it, that's what hit me the most. I'm like, damn, like, nobody else don't feel what I'm feeling? But understand that everybody takes things different. See, it's like, see, you got that thick skin, and I'm not saying you think about it. Mm -hmm. I know you do. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, you lost what I lost, but your willpower is so much motivation to somebody like me, because I want to be like that. Like, I want to just be like, oh, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's Christmas time and still be in that mood and still be, like, joyous. And I be like that sometimes, mm -hmm. but for a split second, I don't be. I just be like, oh, fuck this shit. Right. Like, and it's crazy that you mention that. Like, 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 even like with Rashida, how I know y'all got tight over the years and she became like a sister to you. And that's my first cousin. You know, that's my very first cousin. Right. And her loss was so unexpected. It literally, she posted on Facebook the night before, literally. Right. Talk about how great the upcoming year was going to be. And then a few days. I said the glow up. Dude. And then a few days before then, me and her were just talking about her birthday and my birthday because her birthday is April, man, is January. And she was like, uh, you need to do like a big party. And I'm like, cool. We were planning both of our parties because one, we had, we've always been, been close, you know, over right. the years. Yeah. Always. But the, the whole sisterhood and brotherhood that y'all two have, was able to form over the past five to 10 years, it really hit you. And like you said, it's not that things don't hit me, it's just I handle them differently. And when she 
when she died, it was so unexpected. It was one of those things where you just don't believe it. Like, you literally have yeah, to be there. Yeah, like, the, the, nah, yeah, the I just talked it. to her. Like, I just talked also, to her. And yeah. I just saw it. So, no. Nah, you, you, y'all, y'all got to mis- y'all got, y'all got <laughs> you know, mistake. And you know what, cuz, it's crazy, because, you know, you say that, and, 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 and the thing about it was, like, what, 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 what crushed me the most was, like, I had the cell phone. I ended up throwing it in the garbage because of that. I really broke it and threw it in the garbage. So, the cell phone that I had, though, I only kept it because... That night when she made that laugh, I didn't know she called me, mm-hmm. but she called me and I didn't answer. And she was like, "Bro, it's your sister. Just call me back. I just want to let you know I love you." But I didn't listen to it after I got the news, and I, I, was, I was just going through my phone for real, for real, and this happened to hit me. I'm like, "Wait a minute!" And I go back to date, and I go back to I'm a police officer. What's my say? Wow. See, it was the. It was the impact, you know what I'm saying? It's like everything in life affects you different. You know what I'm saying? Like, 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 like when my grandma died. Like, I'm hurt, but it doesn't hurt me as much as um, Rashida does. See, it, it's the it's what happened before the death mm-hmm. that exactly. is really affected. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? People gonna die. I understand that. You know what I mean? One, trials and tribulations is everything that I've been through. I understand that now. You know, people's gonna live, people's gonna die. One day somebody's gonna be crying up for me. It's just what it is. But um it's the impact though that it had because the significance of what happened right before you know the death. It's what hurts because you know you don't get a chance to say them last um you know and and it, it was like a, like an angry situation between me and her, you know what I'm saying, about some shit that I was trying to clean up and like I, I like I kinda like Partly put that guilt on me, like, did I cause this shit? Like, you know what I'm saying? So that is the effect to where it's like, hold on, man, wait a minute, like, you know, so that's where the majority of the hurt would have come from. If it would have just, even if it was unexpected, but me and her was on good terms, I would have took it better. Mm -hmm. But the fact that we wasn't, it just haunts me, like, it bothers me, like, you know, when I think about it, I just be like, damn, like, was there something I could have did? And, you know, the questions start arising. See, you don't question yourself. Me and you on good terms, something happened. I'll be like, damn, cuz, like, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Of course I'm crushed. But for us to just be rumbling, and then you leave, and then somebody call me, like, that effect is yeah. going to be different. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It ain't going to be the same kind of he died. It's going to be, What? You, you feel what I'm saying? The effect of it is what lasts the longest. And I just be like, damn, like, I be wanting to shake it. Like, I got to, but see, this is where the music comes in. Because now I take that and I try to rejoice in it. Like, you know what, sis? I fucked up before you left. But I'm getting it right. You see me now? That's why I make posts like that. I be like, I got them pictures in my phone. I be like, yeah. I get, well, I, I'm catching her. She at my house. You know what I'm saying? Right. Now, one picture, she was jamming, too. And hey, I was snapping on her like her. this. Like, I'm snapping her phone like crazy. She like... So, you know, that part of me, I'd be like, you know what? I might put me a song next to her, a picture or something like that. I'd be like, you see me, sis? Come on, we getting it now. I know you for heaven. Like, yeah. See, because now I'm giving her something to be proud of. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? And that's why I say that this is where all the like that the rebirth mm-hmm. of boulders came. And I'm just like, you know what? And then, like I said, it's pretty like welfare. You know, but once again, it's a pleasure to still have you in my life. To be able to coach you on things, to be able to say, you know what, it feels good to be years later to come back and be like, cuz I'm proud of you. Mm-hmm. That feels good, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, so not only am I making her proud, but now I'm also making the people proud around me who always believed in me. Mm-hmm. And I don't have to wait till you die for you to say that now. You can say it right now. You know what I mean? No excuses, no cuz, keep doing your thing. I'm proud of you. You feel what I'm saying? We ain't got to worry about if tomorrow don't come, I it, I know you was proud. You feel what I'm saying? It's a difference. You know what I'm saying? Like, And I think that, you know, that bothers me too a little bit because even though I'm making her proud, it's like I wish you could have been here to see it. it yeah. But in the same token, I'm glad that I'm doing it because I know you watch it. I know you see it. Because now I, I could do it for the kids. They watch me. Uncle Wayne, Uncle Wayne. You, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. They, they, they telling her friend to tell her friend and then, Watch, and that's okay because I didn't leave it in vain. I didn't 
my lot would be a junkie. I didn't jump off a bridge. I didn't, you know, I didn't let this or shit be up. the end of me. You yeah, know what like I'm saying? when she died, put the mic down, like, I can't do this no more. I found strength in it. You mm -hmm. feel what I'm saying? Like, you know what? I'm going to do this. And I'm going to do this the right way. And I'm going to show the world that I'm hungry for it. You know what I mean? Because when you're dealing with a cat like me, I, you know, it's all about proving with me. Cause I'm liable to be like say some shit, but they ain't do some shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm, right. We all know that. You know what I'm saying? So it's like that even feels good. Like, look, I'm a man of my word. I'm gonna be at that show, that show, that show, that show. Watch this album drop. Watch this, and to watch it manifest. Now there ain't no more arguing between it. Right. You can't say, well, man, that boy he full of shit. You can't <laughs> say that. It's in your face. You can't mm. deny it no more. You can't say, well. Can't say it. See, so you know, it's like you know, and that's what makes it kind of fun too, because it's like you know, it gives me the energy to always feel, and I, I like it though, to feel like I got something to prove. Mm -hmm. So all it does is motivate me. Like, okay, he's sleeping. I'm gonna wake his ass. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, you know, go ahead. Stay. You, you snoring. Don't worry. You gonna get up in a minute, cause you heard that boom, and in the gun or nothing. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's me kicking in the door. I'm here now. You mm -hmm. feel what I'm saying? Like, you you gonna wake up? Keep Kick your head down like that. Right. You're going to get up. But that's what comes from inspiration. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? People like you inspiring a situation that was dead. You gave it CPR. You know what I'm saying? Just by being there. By you being there at Howler's life. You know what I'm saying? By you coming past the crib. You sitting there. You talking to Lane. And, you, and I'm like, okay. See, here go the belief system again. Mm -hmm. Here we go again. See, because it wasn't that you ever gave up on me. It was just like, you know, you bullshit. I got to move. You feel what I'm saying? Look, you got to stay right there. I might have to leave you right there. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I got to go this way. But the day that you want to start this race with me, trust me, I'm going to yeah. let you catch up. That's right. And I'll be right there to wild it. You know? Let's go. I understand it. You <clears throat> see, you know, there come things in my life I didn't understand. Or maybe I didn't want to anyway. You know what I'm saying? Because it's never like I'm not slow. It's some things, you know, I just, you know, I was sort of giving up on myself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like you said, belief system and focus. I, I think those yeah. are two things that I had, and it wasn't that you didn't have it. It's just I think you had more things pulling you down and getting in your way Obstacles. compared to me. Because although we grew up similarly, we still had different lives. And I think there were there, there were or more obstacles that came in your way because of life and because of situations you dealt with when you were younger followed you through adulthood. So even though you were like, okay, now I'm ready to do music, here come this scenario that happened 10 years ago that's pulling you back. And then, hey, guess what? Here's this scenario stopping you from getting this job. Oh, oh here's this female. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it, I, I think every time you was about to put the key back in the ignition, like, let's go, I'm ready because yeah. here come this other thing pulling you back. So I'm glad that you're now out of place to where not only are you driving, but you overlapping us. And I've said this to you to your face, and I've said this behind your back, that you took the baton and, and you went. Whatever yeah, we right, started right. back in the day and whatever course I went, and when you was locked up or whatever, you're like, cool, I'm ready, cuz. You know, I, because... I appreciate that. And see, the words like that coming from you, because we came from the beginning. You feel mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Them, that is inspiration to just keep going. Like, just keep going, keep going. You know what I'm saying? It's different if I was just sitting down with anybody and they telling me that, that the words are heartfelt, but they don't hit as hard. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's like the the Mike Tyson and Roy Jones. Fight. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Roy Jones was throwing them. He was hitting them. But the words that Tyson hit him. Right. More effective. You, you feel what I'm saying? And, 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 and that's the difference. You know what I'm saying? It's like you the Mike Tyson. You know what I'm saying? And, and somebody else could be the Roy Jones. They could be like, man, you're doing a good job. I felt that punch. But when you say it's a different type of blow, like because we created it from the beginning. Mm -hmm. So to see us here these many years later, and in this situation and in this race, it's like, wow, like who would who would have ever thought? Right. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like who would have ever thought that? One day boys are gonna wake up, T P gonna be right back there on this side and they gonna be right back at us again. Right. Who would have thought that? Like right. that's like almost like too much of a dream. Like, first of all, Bose ain't gonna get his shit together. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like they can see you still moving, but for us to be right back. Yeah. Us. Mm -hmm. Come on, man. 
That's history. Exactly. Man. That's history. That's and history. Whoever don't know that, you a fool, man. That's, That's history. history. There, 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 there's, it's, uh, we're yin yang. There's no one without the other. Because we started together. It wasn't me and them pulling you. We started together. Facts. And that's why it's so important for people to know the history that's of us. Exactly how things really started. Because it was a we thing. Like you said, it was just more so you. And, 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 and here's the other thing. Is that music imitates life. And so does art. And we were each other's teachers and students at the same, same time. time. So although there may have been times when I was teaching you when it came to music, you were te my teacher when it came to life. And like I said, even though I may have been older, that's why we were so tight because I'm getting game from you. I'm seeing how things move in the streets. Now I'm in the streets seeing how things and I'm affected by it. And here come this music part. I'm like, well, cause this is how this goes. And then we was able to blend them two together. Yeah, yeah. And that was not only helped me out in life in general, but when it came to my versatility with my music. Because like you said, everything wasn't bebop and and um and uh did just hip hop, you know. Right. Yeah, my my material music got more street and more aggressive and rugged and things like that because everybody don't just listen to this one type of music. Right. So I was able to, to dive into other genres and, and other forms of everything. Everything was in boom bap, you know. Even, right. even once once we got the equipment yeah. and we started making beats. I mean, the snares were harder. We had bass lines. I mean, we were making music, music. that Real the music. hood could feel, the city could feel, yeah, yeah. and everything wasn't just one style. I mean, you got to look at it right now. I mean, I'm telling you right now, I've got nothing but nothing but compliments. On that off with your head, that mm -hmm. that thing is a banger, like facts. I mean, everybody that I've heard is like, "Hey, yo, y'all killed that man." Just did. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That off with your head is a banger. Yeah, that's one of my more definitely one of my it's favorite bad. songs. It's a banger, you man. Know? And I love it even more because of the it's the fact that you, we're on her together because it took what about 17 years for us to get to do a song together yeah. again because I think. 2017 was the first time we did a song together. Again. Right, yep, yep. And it had been so long because we had all that material back in the 90s. Yeah. I mean, and we were pumping out a lot of music because we had the studio there. You man, know, so we were on North. Man, we were, you were literally there just about every day, and we, we did at least one or two songs whenever you slid through. Period. Always. We right. had so many songs. <laughs> if we had those songs, man. Now, man. man come on. The collection would be crazy. Come on, man. Really? Missing fouls, crazy, man. man. We, we literally, I, I, I think that work ethic is what helped both of us out. Yeah. Because we, we, we weren't like some of these young cats now where they go to the studio, they got to smoke and drink and do all this. Yeah, get lazy and yeah, all that. Yeah, five hours later, they got one song. song. Yeah, no, we can go out here, get this done. Get all right, we're going to the next one. Get that done. Right. Right, going, like it was just, let's go. Come on, like okay, did you write your, is your first done? All right, now it's done. Your first done. Okay, okay, now I'm writing last two right now. Hold on, give me one minute. All right, like, what, what this last song? Like, all right, boom, back again. Making that's how magic is created. Sometimes you want, you know, sometimes people concentrate too much mm -hmm. on the music and they want it to be so perfect. And no, I don't. It don't come like that, like you know what I'm saying. Sometimes you just gotta take what you got, yeah, come and just let it just let it play itself out. Yeah. Sometimes it just makes magic on its own. Like once it's created, it's like, ooh, I didn't even know I said that. And you didn't think, ooh, that's what man. This music thing crazy, man. But I'm learning that because I'm getting creative in the lane that I'm in. You feel what I'm saying? And the more creative I get. Sometimes I be questioning myself, like, well, I ain't going to do that. But then now it's to the point, I be like, I don't care. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm making the music, you know what I'm saying? And it's just what it is. I'm going to sing, rap, dance. I'll tap dance if I want to. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because it's going down lanes that need to be explored, but you might open a door that nobody else is doing. But if you keep being scared, you'll never know. You'll never know. You know, that's like how that, when they start this auto-tune shit, like, that was a that was a, a risky move. It was. You know it could have been an accident. A lot of great things that happen in music are accidental. You this know? is what I'm saying. Like you just heard this one thing, and now the whole world done ran with it though. But that was something that a lane that you you, you might have been thinking like uh, I don't know. But then you ask somebody hey, that shit sound all right. But uh, you, you you second guessing it. But guess what? Boom! You just made a whole earthquake. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Because you gotta really go down that lane, like. 
you ain't gonna know what's down until you go. Right. So if you get booed, come back and <laughs> you do it. Out. That's all, you know what I'm saying? That's the best you can do. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, it's like being a parent. Like sometimes you ain't gonna always be the best father, best dad. You want I mean, mother, you're gonna make mistakes, you yeah, know what I'm child, saying? Yeah. And and it don't mean that you the worst person. Go back to the drawing board and try to do it again. Right. That's just you know, it's just what it is. Work out. Period. You know, another thing I, I definitely gotta give you props for. Um, your early fan base and definitely me, because I'm your biggest fan, is we were used to the the street and the thug life and the hardcore boulders. And that was that was the boulders no one could touch. Once the past two years when you started getting back into the studio heavy and, and, and doing shows and we I was I was previewing some of your songs on your, your uh, first uh, solo album Roses, a lot of it was was just universal music. And at first, and I think I had mentioned to you at first as a fan. I was like, that's cool, but I want that touch. That gritty. That you know, gritty. I yeah. want that gritty in your face shit, but I didn't hold you. You know, I, I, I instead of being a fan about it, I was your support. I was your, your right. friend. And I, I said, well, let, let me see what else you're going to do. And it was like every song that was coming out that you were working on, you was in the studio, it was, I can't even say new age. It was just universal because it's a little bit of the things we're hearing now in this millennium. But it's also a little bit of the older things from maybe 10 to 15 years ago. And then every time I heard something new, I'm like, damn. Like, he got something. Like, that's a niche because, going back to what you said earlier, some people don't know their lane. You got a lot of cats or age who try to do music or try to make a comeback and try to sound like these younger cats. It don't work. <coughs> but you didn't do that. You kind of changed your style. He was like, I know I got that thug life. It's in my pocket. Let me hit him with some of this. Right. And like I said, I, at first I'm like, I don't know how I'm going to feel about that because I'm so used to something. Yeah. If something's good, you don't want to mess it up. Right. And then it was like every song, you would, you'd be like, cuz, you would text me, cuz, listen to this. And I'm listening, I'm like, it's actually hard. And then here come another song. I'm like, you know what? I think he's on or something. So from that point, I, I, I stopped giving feedback. I just sat back. I said, I want to see what he's going to do. Right. And then as it came close to the completion of that album, I'm like, man, this cat, for him not to have released an official album until now, he got the recipe and the formula of what it takes. Because me, I, I've been dropping forever. I figured it out. But here you go. On the first, right? On the first one, yeah. and I'm like, every song sounds different. Every song got a different tempo, a different BPM. Snares is different. I'm like, wow. And that was the thing, and, I, and that's the fact, you know what, that, and that, that's the thing, that's why I always send you the music before anybody else hears it. Because I'll be like, I got to send this to Cuz, I just want him to, because he won't tell me, like, nah, really, nah, I mean, like, you went on the wrong lane with that, and I'm like, oh, I got to send it to him. You know, there's some, there was a few songs that I sent to you. I was nervous to send to you. <laughs> I'm like, no, nah, man, he wants to say this is weak, man. No, nah, I'm not. I'm like, you know what? Just do it. And see what he's going to say. Like, you know what I mean? And and that was the thing. And because I trust your honest opinion. Mm -hmm. So that's why I sent it to you. And it's like, you know, when you, you know, when you kind of like gave me the okay, I'm like, all right, cool. It, it, it gave me the confidence. Never mind what anybody else was saying. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, no, nah, cuz said this is cool. All right, I'm running with this. And see, that was the thing, and, 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 and I made that my main purpose. I never wanted no song to sound the same, because when I listen to the new age music, everybody sounds the same. Yeah. I don't know who I'm listening to. Right, yeah, you really don't. You know what I mean? I could be listening in the future, then they put on a little dark or something, they all sound the same. The only way I know is in the voice. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But I can't even tell by the voice, because yeah, they're all auto-tunes. They're yeah. all auto-tunes. So it all yeah, sounds the same. I'm like... I don't want to sound like that. Like, right. that's not me. Like, I'm going to still give you this thug life, but I'm going to mix it up because I want to show you I can still get on your level. Mm -hmm. So whatever we're going to do, I'm going to put some little thug in it. I'm going to give you some bars and I'm going to storytell. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do it all in three. And if you listen to some of my songs, I'm still telling the story. Yes. I'm still giving you the game, but I'm still, 
I'm, I'm keeping up with the pace. Like, you know what I'm saying? You put me in the room with somebody, I can still run what you want to do. You feel mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So it's like, that's that's the level I'll be on. And I just want to keep growing from that. Like, okay, I'm going to get it, you got. But the balls is going to get stronger. The content's going to get stronger. Mm-hmm. The beats is going to start changing. And see, eventually, it's going to evolve back to the beast that I've been, but it's going to be in a whole nother way, on a whole mm-hmm. nother level. You feel what I'm saying? That's the the recipe that I've been building. Like, okay, I got them. So like I said, for this new project, man, this is great. <laughs> I just keep saying that, like, man, it's going to be crazy because sometimes I'm amazing myself. Like, mm-hmm. if you just say that, I'd be having to go back, like, but why my own self? Like, did you hear what you said? Like, I ain't saying it or something. Right. I heard what I said, but did you really hear what you just said? You know, even when it comes down to the, you know what I'm saying, the, 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 the delivery is starting to become different. Mm-hmm. Like, like, see, and that's what I'm saying. Like, here come the in-your-face delivery. Because mm-hmm. now I felt like I reached that level where I, I don't have to prove anything to you. I'm coming, and you know I'm coming. Now here come these balls. Right. You know what I mean? So, I mean, that's basically where I'm at. I, I, right, that's why I'm excited about this project because now I'm just, now I am in your face with it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Now it's just coming off crazy. Like, you can hear it in my delivery. Like, mm-hmm. I'm telling you, like, ball spitting, not right. Like, I'm like, like, like that hungry dog yep. type, but I'm in your face. Yep. Like, and you're going to have to deal with it this time because, uh, like, I done told you already, like, I ain't going nowhere. And I done showed you I ain't going nowhere. So, guess what we're going to do? You got to deal with this. Anybody who thinks that you don't, I'll make you. You going to deal with it, you right. know what I'm saying? And that's, the, like I said, it's the recipe I've been building. It's the recipe for success because I understand, you know, the odds that I'm against. And I'm like, okay, it's cool, though. You know what I'm saying? And you got to have something for everybody because to whereas one person may not like this slower type of mm-hmm. song, they may like the female joint. You know, they may, they may want to go Gina or they may be on some borders. Like that day, they may be working, long day, B O, you know, they may yeah. need to throw in the boulders. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Uh, they need that chant, that that crowd pleaser. You know, you 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 definitely mastered it. And and again, for the people out there listening, it's not that you just came out two years ago. You've been out for thirty. It's just you sharpened those skills you've gained over the past 30 years, and now you're the animal that sits in front of us today. That's why you sound so good, because even I be saying, I'm like, dude, when you first started letting me hear the first couple of tracks, the Gojinas, and I was like, man, whoever you're working with, like, they know how to cater to your sound, Sound. because not everybody can find that right engineer yeah. or not everybody can get that niche sound some shout people are still Roscoe trying to figure Ray. out yes. exactly shout out to Roscoe some people are still trying to figure out their sound or what they sound like but you didn't have to compromise who you were as an artist, artist to do it that. was just more so bam I line it up and then you add the little season into whatever I already gave you and I think that's another reason why your music has come full circle. And that's why, like, even right now, in the same year you dropped your debut album, you already about to hit them with the second. A lot of people can't even do that. They need time to regroup, reload, oh, hold on. Man. Right. Hold on. Ain't got no more songs? Which means second album? It, this, it's getting worse. I'm telling you, they're going to be this. They're going to be like, oh, my God, this dude is great. Yep, I told you. I told you. When I told you all this song, everybody. This ain't over, man. Like I, I'm addressing it. Right? Mm-hmm. This ain't this ain't indirect. This is directed, man. I, I, I'm telling you, I'm in your face with it. Just watch, just watch, just watch as, the, as as time go along. Just watch as things develop. Like you're gonna be like, yo, like right? you don't say no one hit wonder. This ain't no, oh yeah, he had a couple jams. No, nah, it's gonna be yo, man. You gonna be able to go back years from now and be like, hey, yo, man, you heard that one jam? That one jam, and that one jam, and that one jam, and that, yeah, it's going to be here. That, right. that one jam, and that one, yeah, because I'm going to keep hitting them every chance I get. Because once I drop this, oh, here comes that other album for the summertime. I ain't going to stop. It's just one. Exactly. It's full the circle. Is open now. It's full circle. They let me in. And that's what I said in Off With Your Head. I said, y'all should have never, never let me in. in. What the fuck was y'all thinking? I meant that. Like, I was serious when I said, I, I meant that, man. 
ain't no more. Like, I meant that. Like, when I was writing that, man, that's it was really what how I was feeling like. I'm like, they should have never let me in, man. They done messed See, up now, man. Like, your look. skills are so home. You're a chameleon like me. Like, you can get on a song by yourself, do your, your three uh, verses, and you can get on a song with someone else and still shine also. Whether it's with me, whether you're collaborating with another artist. Right. Like, you can shine on your own without limiting your, your own skill set. Yeah. Or without. Because if you listen to some artists, they sound like French Montana to me. He's like a feature artist because when he does stuff by himself, uh, but right. when he he's on someone's track. song or someone's on his joint, I'm like, ooh, you know what? That's his lane. That's that's him. Like, it, it's like they, he need the motor. He need the motivator. He yeah. Need, he need the engine to the car. Mm -hmm. You know, he's the car. It just don't got the engine in it. It's just sitting there. It's like. You know, all right, you put the engine in there, I can run for you, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, you know what I mean, but without the engine in it, you know what I'm saying, and that's the, you ain't never lied about that, because I hear him on other people's songs too, and I be like, you know, bad self, bro, you know, he ain't, but, you know what I'm saying, he mediocre, but when he with somebody else, he's hard, like yeah, he's he hard, yeah, he, just... he shines over them, mm -hmm. he be like, okay, got you, man, okay, I, I see where you coming from, right, yeah, man. But bad self is like, well, I'm still bob to it, but yeah, the jam was different. such and such was hard, man. Like, exactly. You know, exactly. Like, throw that other one yeah, on. Yeah, so and so. Did you hear what song. dude that was like that? Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's the one I want. And that, that's one of the things that's good about you is that it don't matter, like I said, whether whether you're on a song with me or somebody else. It's like you're always shining. You're always like, yo, I got something for this. Like, you don't back down to a challenge. Challenge. Right. You know, even with the freestyles that you that you was putting out on, on every Friday, you know what I'm saying? You had something new. Like, okay, I'm going to take this beat, this instrumental. I'm going to rap over this. I'm going to give y'all something fresh. Give y'all yeah. something new because I'm versatile. And the thing about it is, you got, you know, when you when you think about that, you got to look at some of the beats I jumped on. G Herbo, mm -hmm. um, Cold Summer Challenge, um, So Brooklyn. Like, these are classic yeah. hits by some hard dudes. Mm -hmm. So for me to have that type of confidence to right. be like, and I murdered him. You yeah. feel what I'm saying? So yeah. for me to... I read the you know, comments. Same I did that. the Heaven and Hell by Meek Mill. That's a classic. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? So for me to jump on records like that and go in, like, that's a statement to tell you. That's like like how Lil Wayne did. He took everybody's beat like, yo, like, you know, when the drops was coming out. Well, like, you jump on this beat, this beat, this beat, this that's a statement. I can on any level you want to get on, I can get on. Give me a dude's track. I'm not scared to rap. Right. Let's go. And I ain't scared that you're gonna say I'm weak. Cause no, you're gonna feel this. You know, you you and somewhere in the back of your mind, you probably gonna say to yourself, "You should have been on the original." Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Facts. Yeah. Facts. That cold summer, man. Like that was that was my one of my first favorite ones that you did. When I called some, I went, I did a dip set beat. I did, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was just, because uh, I did the Heat Makers. Um, I did, because I was doing them every Friday. You were. Like, I was dropping them every week, like, every week doing a freestyle. But then I started, I slowed down because I was trying to work on the album. Yeah. So I said, let me stop and start focus on the album a little bit, because I'm giving all these bars out when yeah. I didn't put this on the album. Like, mm -hmm. so, but all that was doing was making more hungry because it, it made it more of a challenge because I ain't gonna say what I said on that rap. I'm no, nah, I got more for you. Don't worry about it. Right. The plate ain't. It's full over here. I'm. Don't worry about. It. I got more to go, go, go. Let's, let's get right. it. Right. Like, you know what I mean? So you know it was proving a point at the same time. Like, no, nah, I, I could really rap. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Some dudes that just you no, know, I could really rap. So right. I'm gonna show you that I could really rap. I got bars over here, bars over here. Album come up, I could really rap, like you know what I'm saying. So that was the you know the the, the whole thing around that. What I was trying to prove, like no, I don't, I don't want them to think. And it was getting me ready though. It was getting mm -hmm. me ready for the album, like, okay? Because in the process, I'm still talking to different producers, trying to get different beats. I'm like, okay, yeah, I could jump on that. I just did Heaven and Hell. I could jump. On. I could did Cold Summer. I just you know what I'm saying. So now I'm everywhere. And I'm like, yeah, I got this. It's easy. You know, I'm jumping on G Herbo's back. I'm jumping on a few of his tracks. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Murdered them. Yeah, his, his beats. You you sound good over his beats. Man, I murdered them on his beats. Like, I'm like, okay. Um, I did the. Uh, I was supposed to do this Mary J beat. It was crazy. Uh, what's the name of the song? I think yeah, you did still going without Mary, but 
No, it was a um, but this is this was a Mary J track. It was um, it, it, it's a classic song too. I I got it in my phone too when I wrote. It was crazy, and I never did it. And I don't know why I didn't do it. Cause somebody called me and was like, "Yo, I dare you to do a freestyle to Mary J's um." Oh man, I swear I'm so mad, but I wrote it anyway. I wrote it, and I was going to do it. And something happened. I want to say there was nobody here to record me or something mm -hmm. like that. So I couldn't get it done. And it kind of just like got pushed to the side. But these bars is crazy. Yeah. The bars is crazy, man. What, what, do, what, is do, crazy. what do you want your legacy to be when this when it's all said and done? Because that's, that's basically what the documentary is about. It's just about legacy. You know what, when it's all said and done, I just want my legacy to be that, to never give up. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? It's always, even when you feel like there not, may not be no hope, there's hope. You just got to keep pushing. You know what I'm saying? And and, that, and that's the thing about it, too. Like, I'm already putting my legacy out there because I'm watching people try and come back. Mm -hmm. Because I, I, I know I'm inspiring. You ain't going to tell me that. Right. You don't want to give me that. But I know I'm doing it, exactly. Cause especially from some of the people that it's coming from. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm watching them watch me. You feel what I'm saying? Right. And, they, and certain things that they say, like, "Oh man, I ain't, you, you rapping again? Again? I know, again. right? You yeah, you can tell them to say keyword. stuff under their tongue. Yeah, I'm catching the key word. So I mean, that's that's really what I just want to. My legacy, I just wanted to be inspirational. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I could come from where I could come from, go through the things that I've been through, and still survive it, but survive it on a level where I still hungry and want, mm -hmm. you can do it too. You feel what I'm saying? Whether you be a millionaire, whether any of us be millionaires or not, it's about teaching them. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because there is people out here who do want to give up every day. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it ain't about, I may not you know what I'm saying, like be this big star and all this and this and that, but if I touch to in some type of way, my job was done. That's really what it's about now. You know what I'm saying? Like, look at me. If I could do it and I could face the world and, and, and be ridiculed and I got the critics and I could still look on their face like, you mad. You mad because I'm doing it. You mad and I'm good at it. You can too. You feel what I'm saying? Because nowadays, I mean, you got you got di disabled hip hoppers. You know what I'm saying? Man. They wheelchairs. And, you know what I'm saying? You know, inspiration. You want to be the one to say, listen, man, it don't have to be this way. It could be different. You just got to want it. You know, look at me. You feel what I'm saying? Like, they all, when somebody tells you that hope is gone, that doesn't mean that it's lost. They just hate and they just do you. You know what I'm saying? So, at the end of the day, that's really what it's about. That's what the legacy is about to just, just hold on. Just hold on. As long as you can hold on, you got a chance, man. Just gotta hold on. Gotta hold on, man. Like I said, because it ain't, it ain't really about the money. It ain't about the money. You know what I'm saying? It was never about the money when I came in to start doing it again. It's never about money. It was about my sister first, and then it became about Sean that, look, I'm here. This ain't nothing. This ain't no hopes. This ain't no, you know what I'm saying? Because like I said, it went from the music to the clothing line to the, you know what I'm saying? Just branching out. Look, when, when, when you feel like odds is against you, find a way to make it out, right? You know what I'm saying? I ain't shot nobody. I ain't, you know what I'm saying? I put my mind to use. Mm -hmm. That's all. I, that's, that's all I did. Sat down and said, you know, I got to figure this out. And doing drugs and doing this, that wasn't the key. You know what I'm saying? I ain't the key to success. I, 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 that's backwards. Right? We're going to figure this out. Man. You know what I'm saying? So you got to form the belief system. Like, you know what? I'm going to do that. And I know at the end of the day, it's going to be people that's going to be like, oh, yeah, I think it's a joke and all this. But it's okay. Because eventually the lane will open up. But you got to do that with consistency. See, it was consistency that made the lane open up. Right. You know, if I would have did it in the stop, I'd have still been a joke. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Everybody would still been laughing. Like, he's horny. He came out that little one song. Right. But see, you can't stop that. I, been, I done travel all over the world. Mm -hmm. I've been on stages you can't touch. I've been on whammo. I, see, it was the consistency. Yeah. So now you have to believe that it's real because I'm showing you. You exactly. can't say that it, it's not show. a clue. Not a one-hit wonder. I'm showing you. I'm putting it in your face. You, you can't be like, man, this dude, no, no, this dude's serious. Right. Like, now, you ain't got no choice but to love you now. Like, dude, I, 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 I done did some shit that dudes may not know.
never do. Yeah, or have never did before. I'm good with that. You feel what I'm saying? And it, it, it wasn't about million dollars and the jewelry and it. nah. I still I still did some things that you ain't gonna never be able to do. You know what I mean? One either one because you just don't have the faith to believe in yourself to do it. You know what I'm saying? Or two, but you just don't have the ethics to do it. And and that's the thing. If you push, you can do it. You just gotta push. That's it. Just keep pushing, 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 pushing. It's gonna happen. Like right? you know. So at the end of the day, that's what I want the legacy to be. Just don't, don't stop. I don't care because people are gonna try to put certain things on you. Oh, ain't you too old? Ain't you too this? Ain't you mad bad, man? Find something to do. Like, Thank you, man. Forget you know that whole age. You're 17 and you still ain't gonna do what I'm doing. Thank so you, man. you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, does, does that really matter? You know what good I'm saying? music is good music. That whole That's stigma of people over 40 can or should rap. No, nah, kill that. Oh, Some of the best. Is yeah, over man. forty right now. I put I some mean, of these young dudes in the in the ring with somebody like Rock Kim. Damn, he embarrassed. Man, embarrassing, man. He the goat for real. Dude, like I got this two thousand twenty. Look who didn't dropped over forty. We Nas and drop. He's over forty. Busta, the locks. X, man, I'm sure. X. X. Come on, man. Let but one you of know these what's crazy? Did you hear that song? I'm telling you, and I'm not lying when I say this. If you haven't heard it, please go listen to it. That song by Will Smith. You mean the the remix he did to, to the dude who did his? Yeah, it's called Will. That's what I'm saying. You know, I love that he did that because man, did you hear what he was saying? Yeah. When you talk he about did bars, lyrical ability, and cuss. bars, he never did. Lyrical ability, bars, and story. He gave you all of those in that verse. Show me some. Show show me these. Come on, 18, man. 18, 19, 20 could do that. They saying the same for shit all the every people, song. Yeah, like, for people like him, they might be soft. He gave on, you man. everything in that verse, man. If he wanted to drop an album now, he would smash it. He would hurt feelings. They still listen in the summertime. Come on, man. That's like 30 people years old. People like... wish they could get one of those. <laughs> come on, man. People like, wish they could and, get and, one and, of those. And they want to talk about, come on, man. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> don't, don't put yourself in a box, man. Right. Never put yourself in the box. Never ever do it because see, but you only get in the box when you allow people to get into your brain. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because if you if you if you allow the outsiders to stay out, you gonna always have that focus and maintain that vision. But once you let people get in that box, it's over. Right? Because you gonna, now you 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 listen to judgment. And now you sitting there like, mm, you know what? You're right. I quit. I'm just gonna work at Walmart. No, <laughs> not me. I don't think like that. Right. Uh -huh. I ain't going to Walmart. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to go to the studio. I'm going to finish doing what I'm doing. You know what I mean? Period. It's Keep making it history. Is. Period. That's what it's about. And that's that's exactly what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. You're definitely making history. Because at the end of the day, this story will never go unfortold because when you look at it, Wiz ain't start at my age. He ain't, you know what I'm saying? So... When it's looked at, Wapo, rest in peace, he was young. He, it come from where I'm coming from. It's literally making history. Mm -hmm. Facts. There, there, there will be no other that has done what I've done in my generation. And plus such a short amount of time, too. I mean, we talking two years. Two years. The day you've done like, in two years, like two I years. said... That's why I said you, you took the baton and ran with it because although I may have my accolades, we're talking over 30 years. Right. Compared to the, the things you've done in two years. Like I said, the, the second album, you know, it's, it's about to be rolled, rolled out within the next month or two. So they ain't ready. They, they ain't ready. They ain't ready. If they don't know who Bowers is, oh, they gonna know they now. They gonna know soon enough. They feeling him already. They gonna know, know soon enough. They feeling that already. Y'all might as well get down with the home team because he ain't going to. Well, so Make sure you keep on streaming that fucking hater, man. That that that, that talent that they popping. Keep going, at it, man. Facts, appreciate it. Swear, anybody who ever listened to it, streamed it. Keep it up, man. We on. We, we, we gonna get live with this. Man. It's rules to the game and a lot of niggas is cheating Had to call the bosses up It's time to have a meeting Everybody shut their mouth When a real nigga speaking I've been waiting for this topic Swear to God I've been tweaking It was out